Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about the five things that we think Microsoft could have done better when it comes to the Surface Laptop Studio. First up, let's talk about storage, because unlike things like the Surface Pro, where you had an external SD card reader and you could expand the internal storage, there is no way to do that here with the Surface Laptop Studio. In fact, you could upgrade the internal SSD, but Microsoft have specifically said that you will not be covered by warranty if you take this thing apart. Which brings me on nicely to right to repair. There is no way to easily open this device uh, unless you literally rip the whole thing apart. There's no screws, there's no accessory. It is all glued together. So you can take it apart at your own risk. You can get to that internal SSD, but again, there's not really much that we like here when it comes to repairability. I can see this, going into the landfill. One of my bigger frustrations is the lack of USB-A ports, which means I can't use things like my Surface Headphones 2, or I can't use my security keys, like my Yubi keys. Now, I know, I know, USB-A is a legacy technology, but then so is the three and a half mil combo port for the audio. It just makes me a bit mad that not all devices have moved over to USB-A yet, and it would have been really easy, especially on the size of this chassis and the weight of it, to sneak in a USB-A port. It wouldn't have killed them. Whilst we're talking about the size, let's just look at this thing, because again, that shape is nice, and there's a great way for you to hide that magnetic pen for it to charge, but it is really heavy. The weight distribution's fine when you're working at a desk or on your lap. Do you know what? It sits up great. Again, much better than some other Surface Pro devices we've seen. But I've got to be honest, it's just a bit too heavy and it actually gets really quite warm. So the heat coming out of these vents is really quite hot to sit on your lap after a while. So I definitely think they could have done better there. The final thing to mention is that although I love these new modes and Studio Mode is a fantastic tablet edition of you using the device, there are no physical buttons. And I'm so used to on tablets being able to quickly power something off or adjust the volume. There are absolutely no buttons on this, so everything has to be done through the touchscreen. And again, I just think a real nice quality of life improvement would have been just some simple buttons. There is so much space on this chassis, three little buttons for up, down, and power would have been a really nice addition. That's it. Those are the five things that we think Microsoft could have done better with the Surface Laptop Studio, and maybe we'll see some of those improvements in the next version.